What's going on guys, this is Matt and Greg with Project Unbroken and by the end of this video today, you're gonna know the top three mindset shifts you need to make before you start your taper process. By the way, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, please share this video with anybody you think it might help out. So mindset is something that is really big and I think people um, don't take it into account before they start their taper and it can really sabotage your progress from the, from the get go. Um, as addicts or you know, people who are struggling with addiction, we find ourselves getting caught up into certain thought patterns, uh, certain you know, self beliefs uh, that maybe aren't necessarily true and just certain self sabotaging um, ways of thinking that can really mess you up as you start to make a little bit of progress. For Greg and I, these three mindset shifts were probably most effective and for us and I think it'll be most effective for you guys as you start to think about tapering off of Suboxone or Methadone. Um, let's start off with number one. Yes, yeah, so this is extremely important and that is eliminate self-doubt. Okay, now that's step number one. Now, all of us know like when you get on Suboxone or Methadone, there's this this kind of mainstream look on it as you're never going to get off. I mean, even even methadone is known as liquid handcuffs. Like when I got on methadone, everyone was telling me, you're going to be on that forever. Like that's just, you know, you're going to be on it forever. It's just be prepared for that. And actually when I got on it, I'm like, well, I guess I'm just going to be on methadone for the rest of my life. And really that was my mindset going into it because that's what everyone was telling me. So as I got on it, that was the plan. I was like, well, at least I'm not going to be doing heroin. You know, I'm on methadone. I'm good. You know, I guess that's okay. But as time went on, I I didn't want to be on methadone anymore. You know, I had a son on the way. I didn't want to. I didn't want him to see me going to the clinic. I wanted to leave that life behind. So I started kind of eliminating that self doubt, and I started believing that I could come off it as long as I did it the right way. And I came down slow, and uh, that's that's kind of where my process started with. Yeah, like Greg said, a lot of people out there um, that are inside or outside of the recovery community. Right off the bat, like you know, they're they're like you're gonna be dealing with this forever. You have to really believe in your heart that that's not true. You have to completely understand that if you're doubting that you can't do this, uh, it's not probably not a good time for you to start your taper um, off of this maintenance program. Uh, eliminating self doubt is huge for anything we want to do or any goals we set or things we want to accomplish. But for something this important, you need to make sure that you understand that you can do this, and we know you absolutely can. And what's crazy is like even when I got off methadone and we started shooting these videos, in the in the early videos I was like, you know, methadone is really hard to get off. And I watched it back and I was like, it's not, it wasn't that hard. Like why am I say like why did I say that? And really like, just hearing about even though like I came off and it wasn't that hard when it came down to it wasn't nearly as hard as everyone said it was, I still was saying that. And I'm like, why like why am I saying that? Just because everyone else says it doesn't mean it's true. So Get yourself out of like what everyone's saying. I'm here to tell you, like I came off methadone, and if you do it, you do it really slow. Same with Suboxone. And if you do it the right way, watch our taper videos, watch our complete timelines. Timelines. If you make the changes, you know, you make small diet changes, and you're exercising, and you're coming down slow, it's very, very possible. It's not anywhere near impossible to come off. No, not at all. So that's pretty much number two. Number two. Uh, don't let any roadblocks completely you know, derail the train of your progress. So you're gonna be running into stressful situations, uh, you know, difficult times in general, that's, that's life. But you can't let any of these little roadblocks knock you off. You have to remember where you're headed. Um, you have to, you know, you have to stay vigilant through the difficult times. It's obviously not gonna be easy to get through all this stuff all the time. Um, so when, you know, when things come up, you really have to buckle down, remember what your goal is, and stay strong. I think a lot of people that write into us, you know, talk about that they're, you know, they're struggling with the recovery. They tried to taper off, it didn't work, they had to get back on. And I think that's because they don't expect any adversity through this process. And you have to understand that the struggles that you go through through this process are the benefits that you're gonna that's that's why you have the benefits on the other side of it. When we go through struggle and we see how strong we are. You come out on the other end of this thing really, really um, knowing what you're capable of. Yeah, and uh, 
like Matt was saying, I, I kind of lost my my thought there. Okay, so as your as addicts, like when we're using, you know, something bad happens like that, and we're so used to that quick fix, right? Yeah. Like we, you know, we take our heroin or our opiates or our cocaine, whatever we're addicted to. Like things get bad, we use our drugs and they're instantly fixed. You gotta understand that's not gonna happen as you're as you're coming off. Like you you gonna you gotta start dealing with those tough times in a different way, and that kind of brings us to point number three. Yeah. Point number three is you have to start to frame this whole transformation that you're getting ready to go through a little bit differently. So when I first started thinking about tapering off uh, of Suboxone, I was looking at it like I was quitting something, uh, like I was letting something go. And you know, like Greg mentioned, uh, you know, Suboxone or heroin or, or methadone, I think can serve as a crutch for us for as long as we're on it. So whenever something difficult would come up, I would just in my mind be like, oh, I'm okay, I got Suboxone. Right. So when I started to, when I started to think about quitting Suboxone, I would get this oh my under, God. yeah, this anxiety would just flow through me and it was, it was really difficult to imagine myself without Suboxone or any sort of, you know, maintenance crutch to rely on when times got tough. But then I started to shift my way of thinking uh, into instead of quitting, I was I was started to think about it as I was starting something new. I was you know now I was kind of into this regular exercise routine, and I understood that that was helping me cope with you know anxiety and depression. I was starting to eat healthier, and I understood that that was helping me you know help with anxiety and depression and whatever other um, roadblocks or stressors that were coming along with getting off of Suboxone. So instead of me looking at it like something was stopping and I was losing something, I started to change my perspective and see the things that I was gaining and the, the healthy things that I was starting. Yeah, perspective is absolutely huge. Uh, the way you look at things, the way you approach things, perspective is, is everything. So look, make sure you, you eliminate that self-doubt. That's step number one. Number two, make sure the roadblocks don't set you back. You know, when you get a roadblock, don't just think, go back, don't, don't go back to your old style of thinking where, okay, I need a quick fix or I need an easy fix. It's time to start working to feel better, okay? You're gonna need to put in a little bit of work. And then number three is start looking at it in a different way. Change your perspective. Start looking at it as starting something new instead of quitting. Absolutely. Well, guys, those are our three top mindset shifts that we think you need to start to make before you even think about tapering off of your maintenance program. Get that stuff dialed in. And um, if you have any questions about this topic or anything else, addiction, health, recovery related, please leave us a comment and let us know. We'd love to dive into it a little bit more. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys soon. See you guys.